we come to your vision version. And thank you that you join us. And yeah, we, we just do now a little bit in audition. Huh? I will be the pianist to disturb you. And you do like that, huh, please. It's a curtain. You don't know him. Let me just play. We don't play the whole. It's not because it's not good, it's just because of the time. Switzerland is so small, how can we have a Swiss sound? And we are not such a peaceful country like Poland, we fight always in Switzerland, we have the French part, we have an Italian part, we have, and every town is different. So, no, we have not. So, I would say, meanwhile, we could almost say there is one international sound everybody wants to achieve. Actually, it's the sound you have. It's a round sound very equilibrated, warm sound, and the next, so try to achieve that. And that is not so difficult to achieve that with our wonderful instrument. We have a company, Selmer, we have a company with B. I always forget the name with this company. It's, the company is so small, a uh, big. Um, there are now, but you have Boku, uh, oh, Boku, yeah, B, B. Boku, you have um, Yamaha. <coughs> Poland doesn't make it clients yet. That's strange. It, Italy, Italy has a lot of clients makers. And they all copy each other a little bit. Only sell more special. Sorry. And then there is Jochen Zagelke in Germany. He's also a really very good instrument maker. He made me this instrument. So we have excellent instruments. We have excellent reeds. We have excellent mouthpieces. And we always play really very, very similar. And who started with this sound? Carl Eister, with Berlin Philharmonic. And I asked Carl Eister once in a coffee, I have a good relation with him, Carl, where did you got the inspiration of your sound? He said, the bass clarinet sound of my father. He wanted to have this dark sound of the bass clarinet on the B flat clarinet. And since then, with his recording, with his LP, he made this sound that we have. And yeah, play once you're just the first G. Okay, okay, that is enough. Yeah. You have the sound. That's not your problem, I can tell you. You have absolutely enough interesting sound 
good zone to enter in, in, to pass an audition. Now, what is very important, often I'm asked when I'm in a jury, which I don't like too much, but I, sometimes I'm in juries, well, was my sound good? And my answer often is yes, 80% um, or sometimes only 20% sounded good, but not 100%. Every student, every professional player plays nice sounds, but they are not allowed who can have, a, let's say, 95 to 90, are really in the same color and homogeneous. The homogeneity in sound is very, very important. Then the second, which is also not very good on clarinet, clarinet is really, I have to say, the worst instrument in intonation. Really, I have my reasons, I will tell you why. And we have, that's a problem. I have a recording of uh, Carl Leister playing Brahms, second concerto of Brahms, with Karajan, Geza Anda, plays. The clarinets were so wrong, you cannot imagine. It's so wrong. And I remember also my teachers sometimes said, yeah, that's the instrument, we play clarinet, that's clarinet. <laughs> but nowadays, sorry, clarinet can be absolutely in tune, absolutely. There's no excuse, no excuse if you're not in tune. And there really are the first, first big differences. So what you need is first a perfect intonation in mezzo forte. Why is it so difficult on the clarinet? It's so difficult the intonation because in pianissimo, high in forte, we go down. A string instrument is so easy. Put your finger in the right position, play forte, play piano, it's always in tune. They don't, it's not so easy to have the fingers always in the right position. And then you can make vibrato. We don't do vibrato, also difficult. When you do a vibrato, and you're not precisely, it's not such, but we have this stuff. And really you need, you can take now the tuning machine, you, one, two hertz, up, down, probably, but it should be buff, right? Mainly with the main notes. And which are the main notes now at the beginning? It's the G, E, I will tell why E is not important. That's the third. The C, of course. G, C. So the first is these notes. When they are totally in tune, you have more than the half of the intonation of Mozart's beginning. This has to be absolutely in tune. Let's check. about the 
Pythagoras intonation about the, the temperate fields. This is because we have a third. And now how do we play it? And there starts the big problem with orchestra. And in this version, when you play with the piano, you have the, it's here. This, in a way, too high E, because this is gleichschwebende Temperatur in German. Equal temperature. The C, the C sharp, the E on the clarinet is too high. Now what do we do? Good orchestra, meanwhile, play it low. Mainly the second movement, or you have more time. It's A major is not so important. A major you can play a little bit high third if you read the literature, but that's a detail. But we have a problem with this third. In the second movement, it's full of problematic thirds, and I don't know what to recommend to my students. It's always wrong. It's always wrong. You cannot play right. So what we can do is only, I suggest play with piano, the intonation, like the piano intonation, always. And so high third, so you play, so, so out of tune it is not. It's not the three strings are not, but it's, yeah, play. Yes. The distinction between the third in equal temperature and and really pure right intonation is 13 cents. It's a lot. So we have intonation. So if you go to an audition, I will do the days before this G C G, and you know it's 42 or sometimes 43. Just for minutes and minutes, always repeat that these notes are totally tuned. I would also recommend when you tune, play the C and play also the G. You have not 
I would say, because I got always that the people really want to hear a solistic clarinet that is over the orchestra. It can be different. So, play once, I would recommend you to play the beginning a little bit more solistic. Because just uh, two days before I had a mass class in Zurich, Sergio Pires, I don't know if you heard of him, he made a lot of competition, Sergio. He was now has a trial in London Symphony. He made a mask class with my students with Mozart and their excerpts. And he said he wants you need a sound or something that from the first is ah ah what is that? If you just play ah oh, well, one more, it's already lost. So I think you would be really very beautiful, why not? But you don't give a step enough clear wow this. So I would play it really a little bit more because the afterwards you have a possibility to change. Let's, let's give you a little bit more. It's for me here too difficult to say, but my feeling is really I mean you don't have to, that's clear, but you can. And now do it once. Eh? 